Nintendo Switch Lite costs 200 bucks. As a former PC gamer, I can say that for this money, you won't even buy a decent graphics card. And I know because last year I wanted to build a decent PC. I went to the shop and I realized that everything was either out of stock or had a price much higher than I remember a couple years ago. That's why I bought this little beauty and began my journey to console gaming. So this is a review of my first gaming console, Nintendo Switch Lite. My first impression was disappointment. The screen seemed so small and the bezels reminded me of the early 2000s. It's not OLED like in modern smartphones, it has small resolution, but that's okay. I got used to it in a couple of days. Everything else was good. I like the controllers, the audio jack, the touch screen, and it's awesome that Nintendo added Bluetooth headphone support. I like that Switch Lite isn't less powerful than other Switches. In theory, they all have the same processor. The difference is just in power efficiency. And I didn't have problems with the battery life. About 3 hours on maxed out brightness is totally enough for me. I like that you can expand the storage with a microSD card. I like the overall build quality. It's plastic, but it doesn't make annoying sounds while you use it. I like that Nintendo Switch is so easy to use. For more than 15 years of PC gaming, I got used to its complexity. You have to think about your PC parts and how well they work together. Also, PC is not a dedicated gaming device, so you have to think about OS, viruses, drivers, etc. And also, you have to think about where you get your games. There are a lot of shops and clients to run your games, but here, damn, that's easy. Buy a cartridge, insert it, and play or buy games on the Nintendo shop, right from the console, that's all. It is a dedicated gaming device, and there is no an internet browser, so kids kinda may be safe from inappropriate content. And they can easily use it, well, even my granddad could handle this console. Now let's talk about the stuff Switch Lite cannot do. First, connecting to the external screen. Even though it has a USB-C port, it doesn't have a module that allows you to do so, like in a regular switch. And because you cannot connect it to the external screen, you won't be able to play some games on its own such as Super Mario Party, Just Dance, Ring Fit Adventure, Nintendo Labo, and some others. Also, Switch Lite doesn't have IR motion camera. Fortunately, it's not that useful, since there's not that much games that implement this feature. And Switch Lite doesn't have vibration, which Nintendo calls HD rumble. Unless you connect a separate controller or Joy-Cons to it, but there is no kickstand for playing this way, like in the regular Switch or Switch OLED. However, you can still sort it out. Also, you cannot officially play games from an external drive. And you cannot replace controllers if they start to drift or you break them. And last, as all Nintendo Switches, you cannot play a lot of games that you can on a PC, Xbox and PlayStation. Hopefully, some of them are ported to Nintendo already and some will be in the future. That was important for me at some point. However, I enjoyed a lot of games on Nintendo Switch that I cannot play on other platforms. So, about the games. That was a truly discovery for me. Not only there is a lot of games that I've never heard of, but also some of them have more game mechanics than, as I thought, mature games have from a PC world. Also, I again fell in love in Skyrim as I was able to play it in handheld mode. Now, let's talk about alternatives to Switch Lite. Apart from the previous generation Nintendo consoles and some other old platforms, everything is just more expensive. Gaming PC or a laptop? Not even close in price. Regular Switch? $100 more. Switch OLED? $150 more and hard to get. PS4, Xbox One? More expensive. Xbox Series S? $100 more. Xbox Series X and PS5? $300 more and impossible to get. Smartphones? There is not that many cool games on App Store and Google Play and an OK gaming smartphone is pricey. iPad, same story. Steam Deck is also much more expensive. Cloud gaming? It's more complicated. You need a separate controller, stable internet connection, sometimes even another console, so that's a whole different story. So, 
Who should buy Nintendo Switch Lite in 2022? Before making a decision, you have to think about two things. First, do you prefer the type of games that Nintendo offers in its shop? They may be just not your style. And second, do you really need a handheld console? Maybe playing in front of a big screen is your way to go. If you don't have a TV or a monitor or don't plan to use them, you don't need other consoles. Go for Switch Lite. It's solid, it's easy to fit in a pocket or in a backpack. If you already have a PC or other consoles, Switch Lite is a good choice for portable gaming. If you don't have much money, Switch Lite is one of the cheapest and not old solutions for gaming. And last, you feel burned out from gaming? Think that you don't like to play games anymore and you never played Nintendo? Trying something you always boost up the dopamine, so buy it and try it. And now my final thoughts. I use Switch Lite more than my regular Switch and Switch OLED, because it's easier to hold while laying in a bed and easier to take somewhere, but it's not my main console. I have an Xbox, PlayStation and PC to play on a TV or monitor, but I still like it. That's a cool console and can give you tons of joy, so it's definitely worth it. That's it. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. My name is Max. I hope this video helped you, so stay safe and bye!